Here we go. In this electric car, a lead foot can only get you so far. It's equipped with intelligent speed assistance. That means the car knows the speed limit here is 20 miles per hour, and it won't let you go above it. So I'm pressing the pedal, but you see actually the number's going down. Driving me is New York City Deputy Mayor Mira Joshi. This city is the first in the U.S. to try speed limiter technology in 50 of its fleet vehicles. We need to be at the forefront. There's no reason today with so much technology and so much awareness that anybody should die at the hands of an automobile. Federal data shows more than 20,000 deaths on our roads in the first half of this year. It is one reason why, in its latest safety recommendation, the National Transportation Safety Board is calling on the federal government to start incentivizing car makers to put speed limiter systems in new cars. We have to remember these aren't just numbers. These are people who have lost their lives. New York's speed limiter program works through something called telematics. Stored data on local speed limits is cross-referenced with the car's GPS position. Software in New York's cars gives the driver an alarm yeah, there's oh. or simply just cuts off the accelerator when you reach the speed limit. It's called a dead pedal. This system does have an override. If you press this button, you can accelerate beyond the speed limit for 15 seconds in case you need to merge or speed up to meet the flow of traffic. If somebody's in the fast lane driving too slow, then to me that causes more accidents than driving faster. It feels kind of intrusive and invasive. I think from a regulatory standpoint, I think it might be overstepping some bounds. I think the average consumer is going to see this as an overreach by the government. Industry expert Carl Brower says it will be up to car makers to accelerate safety without putting the brakes on sales. I think a move like this is certainly a sign of the future. It's a preview of coming attractions and probably an unavoidable one. A change can't come soon enough for Juan Palido. I'm really hopeful they take it serious and they actually do make the changes. His wife and kids were killed by an oncoming speeding drunk driver, a crash that served as inspiration for the NTSB calling for speed limiter systems. It's going to save lives. It's going to prevent more accidents from happening and less families having to go through what I'm going through.